my first video on here and also my journey while interning at Petronas as their graphic designer or multimedia. And I started my internship on the 31st January and just ended my internship on 22nd April 2022. And it has been fun and stressful sometimes but hey, that's just how life goes. So come along with me and watch my journey working or interning here. Apparently, I did not record that much during my internship but this was my attempt of me trying to vlog what I did and I was assigned to get a few things for a photo shoot so I went to Pasar Seni to get a few things It's like a reward To be fair, this is actually my second time recording, I mean editing and voice overing this video because apparently I was dumb enough to edit my video using CapCut and literally unsaved my project and everything was gone and I was so annoyed at myself, I was so angry because I... Well, why did I even bother editing this video but I hope that Anyone who is still watching this video is entertained with what I'm currently doing because honestly, I don't even know what I was doing most of the time in interning. I just feel like I would just show up and I felt like I was just another intern there and I do not contribute anything which I don't think it's true. So yeah, let's talk about it because I don't think I did awful. I just like to fuck up with my brain. Yeah, that's all. Don't say that. That's not true. But yeah, I hope that anyone who is still watching this video is um, liking my content. So if you do like my content, do subscribe or comment. For now, this is just like me showing you what I did during my internship. So yeah, I would do editing videos which to be fair, I should have been using Premiere Pro instead but yeah, I was being a dumb bitch and I edited my video using CapCut and I'm still doing using CapCut actually because I can't be bothered enough to edit my video using Premiere Pro so yeah so this was actually during the month of fasting season so I would check out or I would go home like around 4.30 or maybe 5pm I can go home and berbuka but most of the time I would berbuka at the office actually because I can't be bothered to you know be in a sudden full of people so yeah So in this part of the video I'll be talking about Five things I wish I knew before interning at Petronas. So I wasn't sure if I should even say it. Anyways, the first thing, prepare your documents early. When I received the email that I was accepted, the HR immediately responded. That's a good thing because they respond really really fast. So the HR will email you the documents that you need to provide. My mistake was I delayed sending the documents. Well, it wasn't on purpose because I was also finishing my FYP for that semester. So it was very stressful. Not procrastinate or you will get rejected and you lose your chance interning at Petronas. It's not just one or two documents, it's a lot of documents so secondly you need to be mentally and physically prepared you need to bring your documents on the first day but usually your hr or your supervisor will um, supervise you before coming to the office so i don't think you need to worry that much
seeing my fears with heights. So kind of sucks with how like you'll get used to it, so we'll be fine. So the fourth one would be working from the office is actually a really fun experience. For my team, we were assigned to work a week at home and a week at the office. The only reason I applied here actually is because I thought that I would be working from home. Regardless, I'm grateful it was working at office because you'll never get this chance again and I definitely would recommend that. So the fifth one would be Petronas and Microsoft. You need to learn how to use Microsoft Teams which is an app where you communicate with your team while working from home and also Outlook. Outlook is basically just an email app. It's easier than Google because uh, they don't use up your data which is really convenient. So yeah. This would be the last day of me interning. Well, not really. The next day would be my offici officially last day. But yeah, this is my last day coming to the office as yeah graphic designer in Petronas. And I always mess up the lift for some reason. But yeah, he's me like walking through the corridor for the last time actually. And we had to wear our baju raya that day and it's kind of sad that I had to leave but I'm also happy that it, it's ending I mean one thing that I do learn from interning at Petronas is that the people that work here are very hard working and they're very dedicated to their work which I fully respect and I fully am very happy that I get to work with these people yeah, it's so cliche to say that I'm so grateful, hashtag grateful that I went here but I really am grateful that I got to, I got the opportunity to go here and obviously if you intern here you actually can go through the bridge but I am scared of heights so that would never happen. <laughs> so since it was my um, almost last day at the office or interning, they had a farewell party at uh, Serai so we had our berbuka there and the food was really good. I love the pafu bar but I didn't finish it. Mm -hmm. The flavors are melting on my tongue! So if you made it this far to the end of the video, this is actually my very officially last day at Petronas where I return my punch card to them and I had my first online class for the semester that day. So let's talk about how I actually got to intern at Petronas as their graphic designer or multimedia person. So uh, this would be, of course, the part you've all been waiting for. Honestly, it was really simple on how I got in. But before this happened, I did try to apply at their website. But I just never got any replies. And when I applied through their website, I thought I was already late till my internship. And But, you know, three weeks before my internship started, apparently my lecturer, my lecturer's brother, who worked for Petronas was looking for a graphic designer and I'll show you the job description here 
So yeah, I can't really explain how it happened. I literally just got the PDF from my lecturer in the group chat and I immediately applied. You know, if you need more info or how I apply, you can just connect with me on LinkedIn and you can ask me more on there. So since I've had a lot of free time here, I decided to have a walk around the KLCC park. Even though I've lived in KL for like my whole life and I've always went to KLCC but you know I've never went here before so I just wanted to take a breather and just relax. Who would have thought that I would actually get to intern here? Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. So since my internship ended on the 22nd of April and by the time that when I wanted to you know uh, return my card I could not get or enter the building or the tower at all so I had to have someone escort me inside After a few hours it was getting a little too hot so I you know I went back inside uh, KLCC so eventually, I did get inside the building and I got to meet my work bestie, Alia. And yeah, I just literally just spent like literally just a few minutes in the building because I had to return a few things there. And yeah, this was me officially walking off the building. And yep, even on my last day, I still mess up the lift every damn time. But yeah, this is goodbye. I'm never gonna get to enter the building anymore. But you know, I'm happy. I ended my internship. You know, maybe I can work here again as a protege or maybe a permanent staff. But you will see, but I'm not sure yet. But yeah, this is literally my last time seeing all of this. So usually I would have my babuka at the food court so this is what I ordered that day and this is what I would usually eat for my lunch it's so good but it's so expensive so I wanted to take photos in front of KLCC you know just to say my goodbyes but it rained and it rained heavily so I'm, I guess it's a sign from the universe that it's not a goodbye, it's probably a see you later, maybe, if I have the rezeki, you know. But yeah, this is me going home, finally accepting that I actually finished my internship for 3 months. So yeah, I'm happy that it ended and hopefully we'll see you again, Petronas. It was nice meeting you.